Well, hello, uh, hello, my brothers and sisters. Um, this is Brother West coming to you. Um, I, I wanted to just be honest with you, and um, just um, been doing some reflecting, and um, I, I expect good news on tomorrow concerning our home or concerning um, the place that we're staying, the apartment that we're, that we're going to move into. Uh, we're expecting good news. We're expecting uh, to hear good news. Um, but what I wanted to just simply say and just thinking, just thinking about life and and just thinking about how life can be, um, life can be very humbling. Life can be very humbling. The scripture says, when a man think he's strong, take heed lest he fall. Pride goes before a fall. And it seems like um, the more gifted people are, especially when you're chosen by God, the more warfare, the more troubles, the more uh, demons, the more things you have to fight. I've, I've been through, I've been through, um, I've been humbled before. I've, I've got humbled before. And, um, and, I, I, and, I, and I truly believe that's why um, those who are, are gifted and highly gifted go through so much. One of the things that they, the reason, one of the reasons why they uh, go through so much is to keep them humble. Just like with Apostle Paul, when he was caught up in third heaven, and he saw what he saw, he saw God, he saw uh, things to come. He thought he saw things, things in heaven. Uh, fourteen years, uh, fourteen years, uh, I think, uh, fourteen years ago, uh, fourteen years in that time. And uh, but when he came back, um, he was assigned a message in the flesh that buffeted him and beat him. And he thought he sought God three times to take it away, but God said, "My grace is sufficient." My strength is made perfect in his weakness. And so he knew that when he was suffering, he knew that that's when God's power would rest upon him because there was no no flesh or nothing in the way of getting in the way of God speaking. And so oftentimes when you're uncomfortable and when God strip you, or when you when, when you when you go through so much, it's, it's, it's like an emptiness when you become broken. What it comes down to is being broken. And the scripture says that the broken spirit and the country heart God will not despise. So when you're broken, that's in a place where you have God's ear. When you're broken. And, um, and you know, life gets hard sometimes. But God said if you can endure, if you can remain faithful, in due season, your reward. And so those are just some of the words that I was just wanted to speak to you. It's just that, you know, life will humble you. When you think you up, when you think you got it all together. And so that's why it's not good to look, look your nose down at anybody. Because someone who's homeless, someone who's going through something. And when you look your nose down at them, it could be by the grace of God, you're not dealing with the same thing or you're not facing the same thing. And so it's a matter of just doing good to everyone and just thanking God for everything that you have. Because it's just like God gave it. He can surely take it away. And just like uh, Job said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so it's always good It's always good, and it's always important to always acknowledge him and, and give him thanks. Because when you acknowledge him, you're saying that, God, I thank you. I know it wasn't me by myself that, that caused me to have this or get this. I know it was because of you. It was because of your hand, because of your grace, because of your mercy. Just like in our lives, me and my wife's lives how God is causing uh, his grace to be upon us, the favor to be upon us, where, where, where things are happening for us, blessings are coming to us. And all of that comes as a result of being faithful. And see, the thing about it with Tess, in order to get God's glory, in order to receive God's glory, you gotta come through the test. You gotta come through the pressure. You gotta come through the fire. You gotta get through it first. Uh, you can't complain. You can't get the, you can't get the reward while you're in it. You gotta endure it. And not complain, not complain, but in the fire, in the test, say, God, I trust you. God, I don't understand what's going on, but yet I'm going to still trust you, God. And that's how you got to be. When you're down to your lowest, when you don't have nothing naturally so, that's when you get to a place where you fall on God's mercy. And you say, God, I trust you. God, I don't know how it's going to be fixed, but God, I know you're going to fix it. God, I don't know how a way going to be made, but God, I know you're going to make that way. And so that's how you got to be. You got to be steadfast. You got to trust them until the end. Is that all right? God bless you.